and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack, spelled with a K. I'm your host and you're watching and uh, well, this is a Hack Attack episode. But in this episode, we're gonna specifically be looking at AUM, audio unit, multi-output routing, and also Pure Acid. You see, Pure Acid recently got updated with support for this system which is amazing because we're now getting a step closer to a more professional style of um, workflow. Basically, a workflow where you can individually process drum sounds, for instance, coming from one plugin. And that is very, very important. This really is a game changer. Now, if you want to jump straight into the tutorial, just go to this timestamp and you'll get there. For anyone else sticking around right now, I want to do a big shout out to my boy Dean from Electronic Sounds Audio. That's what his YouTube channel is called. He makes amazing content. I love what he does with music. He's an excellent producer and he's been a producer, professional producer for many, many, many years. He also makes sound packs and stuff like that. And recently he sampled some sounds from some of my videos. You know what? You can just go check it out. There's some really sweet beats in this video. I'll link it down below in the description and hopefully you can go check it out. Hopefully you'll go check him out and give him some love. Okay, so next step is tutorial. Right, so we are going to get into this, but first I just want to say that normally in these AUM tutorials, I usually show step by step from the beginning how to add channels and stuff. I'm not going to do that, but what I'll explain is that we have one channel over here, which is my microphone input. And I've just put it there so that I can record my narration while I'm doing this tutorial. The other four channels, we're going to be using those for our little multi output session here with Pure Acid. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to load Pure Acid. So we're going to open up an insert slot here by tapping on it and then go to audio unit extension. So Pure Acid and Pure Acid multi output. I think it's pretty obvious which one we need for this tutorial. Since we're doing multi-output, that's the one we're gonna load. There, I've got it muted. And you know what? I'm gonna switch out the preset here to one of my own so we have something more interesting to listen to. Right, a little bit more interesting to listen to. Now, as you can see, we have the baseline loaded and actually I'm gonna close this plugin down and I'm gonna explain exactly what we wanna do. As you can see in here, we have both the drums and the baseline coming out on the same channel. This is the channel where we loaded our Pure Acid plugin and of course, all of the audio is gonna come out here. But thanks to the multi output now with this audio unit system inside AUM and Jim uh, Audio updating Pure Acid with this, we can now port out instruments and sounds on individual channels. And this is really changing up the game. So what we wanna do is to send out the bass drum over here, the snare drum over here, and all of the other percussion to this channel over here. We also want the uh, bass line to send out its sound over here. So let's begin by preparing this multibus system. We go to the input slot of this channel here. We go down to multibus audio unit instances, and here we can see that we have the pure acid multi output A2. It says A2 because this is audio channel two. If this plugin would have been loaded on this channel, then the multibus output would have said A3. If you wanna know more about the numbering system, I suggest you go watch this tutorial. It is very, very thorough and explains all of that. Okay, so that's one easy set of numbers to keep track of, the amount of channels and the numberings of them. But there is now another set of numberings that you need to keep track of, and it has to do with the buses themselves. So yeah, let's roll. So let's go back here and take multibus audio unit instance output A2 for pure acid. And if you look closely here, you can see that it says two over here. This is important because this one tells you which bus you're using. And if you tap it, you get a list and you can choose which one of the output buses you want to use. Now we're going to keep loading this thing into the other channels. And when we do that, it automatically chooses the next free bus. 
Now we could just go in here and set it to five if we wanted to. And that's basically how this system works. I'm gonna switch this back to four because I like having a regular sequence of numbers without any skips in it. And now we are prepared for this multibus output. What we need to do now is to go into Pure Acid and route the sounds ourselves. So we begin by opening up this plugin and I'm just gonna unpress play here. Okay, so we have the baseline synth loaded, but the routings we need to do to be able to port out the drums individually on these buses here, well, we need to do them in the drum machine. So we switch over to the drum machine, and now that we have the multi-output version of Pure Acid loaded, we now have three options down here where it says drum set. Right now it's switched over so it will show us the actual buttons for the drum sounds, and if we tap it, we get the drum sound selector. So this works as it normally does. But now we have a third option here saying bus. And so when we switch it again, we get the assign output bus section. And here is where we route our stuff. Right now it's routed to the internal mixer. That's why it says mix in all of these boxes here. And when I say the internal mixer, I mean this mixer inside Pure Acid. So it has an internal mixer and you do have the possibility of actually routing the drum channel and the bass line to other buses too, if you want. I'll show you that later. We're gonna go back to the drum machine and we're gonna assign some buses here. Okay, so to reiterate, we want the bass drum sounds on this channel here, and we want the snare drums here and all of the other percussion over here. Now to do that is very simple. We just follow the numberings. So if we go to bass drum one here, we tap it once, it says master out. And this is not the one that we want because it is the master output of your acid and it will just keep routing the sounds right down into this first channel here. So we're gonna choose bus two and then on BD2, we choose bus two again. For the snare drums, we want them on bus three and the other sounds, we want them on bus four, but I'm not gonna force you to watch this whole process, so I'm just gonna edit this when I'm done assigning them. And through the miracle and power of video editing, I'm now done assigning all of the buses. And there we go. We now have the bass drum on one track. We have the uh, snare drum on one track, the hi-hat and all of the other percussion if we put in any in here on another track. <laughs> Okay, quick little note here because I forgot to mention this. Now when using the master out, you can still do that of course, and it will port the sound from that instrument right into the main channel. So the same channel where you've got the uh, Pure Acid plugin loaded. However, there is actually something in here that gets bypassed when you're using the master out. And that is if we go to the mixer, there's something called MFX. And it's short for Master FX or Master Effects. This thing actually gets bypassed when you're using the master output in the output bus routing. And this is not the only case where you can bypass this thing. You can actually do it when you're routing the drum channel and bass line individually too, but I'll show that later on. Well, I've been mentioning a second way of actually routing the sound out on buses here. And, and so all you need are two channels, one channel for the drum sounds and one channel for the bass line. I have three here, but of course the first one is my microphone still. So we're gonna be focusing on these two channels, number two and channel number three here. And as you can see, I've already set up bus two on this channel and I wanna route the drums through that one. So I'm gonna open up Pure Acid and go to the mixer. Now in the middle of the mixer, we can see two channel strips with some controls in them. And right down here, it says MFX. And I wanna port out the drums on bus two. 
So all I have to do is to press where it says MFX until it says Boss 2. And now I can just play this so you can see and hear for yourself. <laughs> Now, I want to highlight something here because you can clearly hear that there are effects on the bass line. And let's say you want to get rid of those. Well, first of all, you could just, instead of using the MFX output here, you could just put this one on the bass line to out. And this will route the uh, audio from the bass line directly to the master output and it will bypass this MFX module here. You can actually still keep it in MFX because if you look closely here, you can see that I've got a whole function on on the MFX. And if I play this and I deactivate it, you're going to hear the effects go away. <laughs> Right, so that's one way of doing it. But sometimes you just want to be certain that you're not going to do any mistakes when performing and you might hit the MFX in places in a song where you really don't want any master effects on there. And so the best way to do it is just simply to set the bass line to be routed to the out, the master out, and it will bypass the master FX module. Now, some of you viewers with keen ears are still going to be wanting to tell me like, hey, Jacob, there are still effects on there, even though you deactivated the MFX module. Yes, you're correct. But that has nothing to do with the MFX module. It's because I've got the uh, the FXA sense and FXB sense tweaked up a bit. And so if I remove these, we will have a clean baseline sound. <laughs> And you probably want to run it like this when you are processing your audio with external plugins in the insert effect slot inside AUM. So this only bypasses the master effects. It will not bypass the send effects. So keep that in mind. If you want your audio to come out clean from both the bass line and drums, make sure that the MFX is uh, turned off or that you've routed the channels or the outputs for the bass line and drums past the MFX. And that you've also tweaked down the send controls for the uh, send effects plugins over here. This is amazing and I hope that all of the groove boxes out there gets multi-output. We no longer have to load multiple instances of this thing. And this does a huge difference because it now takes less resources here. I mean, the DSP load on my iPad Pro 12.9 inch from 2015, that was very long to say, is so low right now because I'm only loading one instance. This changes the game completely because now it frees up my session to actually put some other plugins in there. I wish that Ruizen Studios would grab Figure and just do this with it too. Thank you so much for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated, of course. Now, if you wanna help me out, then share these videos, of course. Uh, press the thumbs up because that really is helpful with the algorithms. And do follow me on Instagram. I love it when you follow me on Instagram and also when you share stuff with me on Instagram. You can follow me on Twitter too. And uh, yeah, that, that, that's pretty much it. Just, just do that. And if you want to support me in any financial way, uh, you can have these links here. All of the links where you can find me online, uh, on social network forums and, and stuff like that, you can find them in the description together with app links for AUM and Pure Acid, of course. And so, yeah, I think, I think that's it. That pretty much rounds it up. I, I, gotta, I, I gotta quit early today because I need to get this video out because I'm a little bit late with something. Why do I keep talking? Yeah, so as usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it.